What's going on boys and girls? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaia. Last time we basically just continued with the Sachi story, beginning the Sachi story that is. Sachi fainted and then we uh, did a bunch of other stuff that I can't really recall because that was a long ass session. I don't know why but it felt like it dragged on forever even so it was just a regular one hour session. But maybe it's because it was a one hour video that I was recording and not just 15 minute segments which would turn into episodes, obviously, but I don't know. Either way, we're just going to continue off on the, uh, basically where we la last left off, Sachi. We're going to apparently do a 24-hour maid surveillance, and obviously the maid is Sachi, so I'm sure that'll be fun. Uh, pretty sure there's going to be a lot of sexual innuendos to be afoot. And also, I'd like to thank everyone for, uh, for the support on that last episode of the Fruity Grisaia. I know this is going to be a very long playthrough, we are nowhere near the end, and you guys are sticking with it. You guys are wanting more, and I don't know. It just it, it it makes me happy, I guess. So thank you so much, guys. Um, just 12 likes on on a single video like that is so much. Just just to me, obviously, but just thank you guys so much. And 12 likes is what I see right now. Probably won't be like that later. Maybe have more. Maybe have some dislikes. Who knows? But I'm, I'm just so grateful that you guys love this playthrough. I'm having a ton of fun. And speaking of fun, let's get right into it. Now, in the anime, I can't exactly remember when the closing ceremony was, you know, when they finished. I don't know if it was exactly at the end or something, but... If we're doing other stories, like other paths and stuff, does it overlap the days, or... And I'm not really sure. I didn't really understand, like, what it meant by every every ending is a true ending of the story. But, like... I, I, I don't even know. But either way, closing ceremony. So I guess every path will have a closing ceremony or something? I don't know. Sachi, Sachi! What are you doing today? This can't go well. Yeah, that went exactly as planned. <laughs> Alright. All of a sudden, three of my classmates spring to their feet as one. What? Was there a tremor? Can't say I noticed. Talk about sexual innuendos, like, we're not even, like, we're only three minutes into this, to this session, and, uh, already, just already, man. <sighs> My god. Uh, <coughs> I see. The precise nature of your collective delusion is now clear to me. But to be perfectly clear, that's not what Sachi meant just now. Oh my god, no! No, she's making it worse! The chorus draws a few steps away from me and begins to discuss something in venomous whispers, shooting me scornful glances out of the corner of their eyes. Sorry, Sachi, but please keep your mouth shut until I'm done explaining. <laughs> Listen up, alright? I'm just dropping by Sachi's room for a visit. That's the full extent of the plans she's talking about. <laughs> Apparently, Sachi doesn't believe in giving herself free time. I was kind of dubious. So she volunteered to demonstrate directly what she means, or what that means. Once I provide a brief explanation of the circumstances, my three interrogators cool down surprisingly easily. Amine's tone suggests she's all but lost interest. Not that I'm complaining, but you're strangely understanding. She has? 
私たちもあんたと同じことが気になったわけ。So, what's going on behind that curtain? それは自分の目で確かめた方がいいわ。きっと、口で説明されても納得できないと思うから。So, there is something. Hmm. In other words, their own version of this field trip must have left a decidedly ambiguous impression. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'll make a conscious effort not to disrupt Sachi's private life any more than necessary. Damn, dude, if we were following Amine around, there'd be so much sexual shit going on. Sakaki heaves a small sigh. Makina, who's shown absolutely no interest in the conversation until this point, promptly s siddles. Si I, I don't know if I'm. slides over. I'm gonna say slides. And yanks on her sleeve. Alright then. Would meeting at the lobby in an hour or so work for you? Okay, kid. Okay. I have no idea what's going on anymore. So she's jealous. That's what it is. Considering how little you supposedly care, I find you. I find it slightly odd that you've been tailing me since I left the classroom. Shut the fuck up, kid. Um, and there she goes. Probably just wanted to say that last bit from the very beginning. The Sunday day's lot is not a happy one. All right, here we go. I feel like there's gonna there's gonna be something that goes down, and I don't know if I should be looking forward to it or if I should be very scared. Already very confused. Alright, you ready? Something's gonna happen. We're supposed to be following her private life, but I feel like she's gonna take advantage of it. Yeah. The first thing that catches my eye is a large locker similar to the one Sachi uses as a storehouse in the classroom. The one on the right here. It's also the only thing that catches my eye. There's not much else in the way of distinctive personal touches in here. Minimalist, if you put it nicely. Plain, if you don't. But personally, I'm just grateful it isn't, it isn't some frilly... The fuck? The fuck was that? I could have sworn I heard some weird noise. Abomination full of stuffed animals and overpowering scented candles. I swear, there's always something that goes on during my recording sessions, and it just completely grabs my attention. You might think I'd actually ask. Jeez. That a fact? Come to think of it, I haven't even poked my. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a noise being made, and it's my headset. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Uh. Very weird. And now I got a Discord message. Lovely. I'm gonna think of it, I haven't even poked my head in Sachi's room before. Damn, dude. Try not to put it like that where other people can hear you. Michiru and company would misunderstand again. Understandably, in this case. So once you're back in your room, what's the first order of business normally? Right, let me rephrase that. The first order of business after you change out of your uniform. 
again, confused. At what? Also, couldn't you have gotten changed before I came over? And why did you have to do that today in particular? She's getting ready for this. Something's gonna happen. Something. If you don't know the answer, I doubt anyone else will. After changing into her casual clothes, if the term can even apply to a maid uniform, in the back, Sachi begins to unpack a range of study materials from her school bag. Alright, don't worry about me, go right ahead like you always do. With that concise answer, Sachi promptly heads over to her desk. She talks while she studies. After carefully spreading out her notes in a few textbooks, Sachi begins solving problems at a steady pace. In no time at all, she's absorbed in the task at hand. Even watching from behind, her concentration is almost startling. First of all, she goes over the problems we reviewed today a second time. When that's done, she moves methodically through everything we might possibly cover in the next class. Even as she jumps to new material and different subjects, her pen never stops its regular mechanical motion across her notebook paper. If nothing else, it's quite a display of academic prowess. You study this much every day? All teachers do that. Doesn't mean you have to do it. That's your reason? No, strange would be an overstatement. Although, personally speaking, it seems way too weak of motivation to inspire this kind of effort. True that. It's fucking nighttime. Getting up from her seat without even pausing to stretch, Sachi immediately begins to pack away her books and study aids. Next step would be preparing dinner then. Possibly. Don't give me that utterly astounded face. You told me your schedule before, right? <coughs> Been a while since I heard that catchphrase. Anyway, while you're eating dinner, I guess I should... Okay. That really alright with you? No, I don't have any reason to refuse. I'll take you up on that. I watch idly as Sachi trots off toward the kitchen to prepare the meal. I'm just now thinking about it. These rooms are fucking huge. Like, every student here, there are way more. Like, this dormitory just would not work out. Just now, her smile seemed unusually happy. Was it just my imagination? Um... What? About 10 minutes after Sachi began her preparations, I hear the... Rim... Rim... Rhythmical... I'm learning. Rhythmical sound of a kitchen knife striking a cutting board. Within a few moments, she accompanies... Oh shit, I just got a Facebook message. Uh, she accompanies the steady per uh, percussion with a bizarre song. Almost certainly another of Makina's compositions. And she even says what she's doing. She's whacking. Which could be taken in another direction. Up to this point, I can't deny she's given herself exactly nothing in the way of legitimate free time. Frankly, her constant motion and eager devotion to her tasks aren't particularly different from what I normally see out of her, out of her in school. Hmm, from the smell of things, it's curry, huh? <coughs> She's even preparing our favorite food. Something is about to happen, and I don't know what. Yeah, curry was downright treasured at my old school. It's filling, nutritious, and tends to taste decent no matter who makes it. And apart from practical appeal, it does fall into the category of food I personally prefer. But have I ever declared myself a curry fanatic in front of Sachi? I'm not the sort of enthusiast, enthusiastic gourmet, gour, I don't know what that is, who, gourmet? I want to say that's what that is, who makes a habit of advertising his tastes. 
No, it's nothing. Well, there's no need to think too hard about something that that trivial. Yogurt? That's fine. I'm not what you would call a picky eater anyway. As a rule, I eat whatever's put on my plate. This music is also really weird, like, it's just giving off that vibe, like, Oh my god, the butterflies are in the air, and love is also there. Maybe, but she complains it's less satisfying when there's no challenge. Saji keeps up a natural flow of conversation without ever losing focus on the work at hand. Considering how busy she keeps herself, I don't really have many opportunities to make small talk with Sachi, so this sort of idle conversation feels a bit novel. Come to think of it, when did you start cooking for yourself, Sachi? Out of necessity, in other words? Yes, Auntie, huh? First, I've heard of her. But grilling Sachi about her family would probably fall on the tactless side of things. Not that long, then. Seems like you're quick on the uptake. I mean, I can do that too. Didn't know that was a skill. Sure, whatever. 